The Tetons Part 2. Here's a recap. <laughs> We're all packed up. We're going up there. Oh now you can see it's snowing. Those mountains are gone. We're gonna be losing daylight soon, but the snowstorm is not letting up. It's just getting worse. We're trying to get there. We're a little out of our element. <laughs> cool. I feel pretty good. Yeah, I do now. <laughs> The next day we woke up and it was kind of funny, the snow had come down so heavy, like so much snow had come down on the tent that it was just like I woke up to pure black and a huge weight on my face. And it turned out that the snow had piled up so much on the top of the tent that it kind of had collapsed my side of the tent and I was like underneath it so I had to hit the snow off and once we like opened the tent up it was pretty scenic outside. Here's our bear vaults we didn't put that far away. We got pretty up high. I think we're at 8,500 feet, maybe 9,000. What a song. As you can see, Andy is doing his best attempt to dry things out. He's got a glove that's hanging on a tree, his Christmas tree he's deemed. Got a speaker up there, really living it rough. Some wet frozen pads. I'm using just my foam pad. This is a good purchase to uh, just keep my stuff on before we pack everything up because the bear bolt's got to go in next and the rest of that jazz. This was what we slept in last night, all three of us. That's all pee. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us pooped out some batteries. Uh, I don't think any of us were really ready to hike up the amount of elevation that we did in the amount of snow that we did. And so all of our gear is now wet and the guys are tired, so. I felt that we could make do with the clothes we had, get to camp a little sooner this time around. I really wanted to keep going. We we're turning back. Um, and heading back down today. So our three day is now just a two day, and then we're gonna have an extra day to probably just go jewel it up or something. We'll do that. And it, uh, the guys didn't wanna do that. I mean, Aaron wasn't gonna go regardless, even if I threw a hissy fit. Uh, he's very stubborn. We got a long ways to go. But it's all downhill. The trail was completely gone, but we were able to kind of like recall the way we took and follow the formation of the side of the mountain and make our way down. Knee, snow. Knee, snow. It's deep. Not being able to see the trail means you're not able to see the boulders. And uh, we all fell. We all fell and some of us fell multiple times. How's your experience been so far? Well, I'm tired. It's hard to breathe. And I'm sweaty as usual. So I'm taking a layer off. But now I just discovered that this outer layer has vents. Yeah, should have done that. Vent pits. That's pit actually. That's all I can say right now. I like this now. The lake was cool. We didn't see the lake. The pond. <laughs> it was cool. I'm enjoying my time. Uh, slept pretty good. You know I'm sleeping good if I'm snoring, keeping someone else up. So uh, yeah. Doing great. <laughs> I uh, got cold toes right now, but other than that, most of my gear is soaked. I'm hoping that I can get my sleeping bag dry before tonight, because that's what I have to sleep in to stay warm inside the van. We could dry it. Um, Put it right in front of the furnace. None of us were prepared. Do not let anything he does in this edit make you think we were prepared for what we were getting into today. Don't let Ben make it seem like we were ready for any of this. We were supposed to go higher into more snow. I really wanted to keep going. No, I am telling everyone that we weren't prepared. I'm just saying that we are going to go into town and be with babies and try to get a hot meal because we thought we had it rough last night. Some people lose limbs though. We didn't. We haven't lost any limbs. We're not there yet. Nothing's purple or oh, white on. or black. You know, everything's yeah, the fine. The lack of frostbite's pretty cool. Yeah, we all still have some rosy colors to our skin. 
So, and Andy's still juuling. And still. I mean, nothing can be that bad. And it has hit some whiskey too. <laughs> if there's still charge on his fucking jewel. <laughs> the going down wasn't bad. It was actually pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> Things are going good so far, I think, in my opinion. And the sun's out, and it's not like a crazy snowstorm or anything. So, cool. Quarter of the way down, Aaron had had enough of his chafing and stopped and decided to cut his underwear off. Oh, oh they're way up here. Are you going to cut them or what? I'm, I'm debating. Aaron's got some chafing going on in the butt crack region, so he's trying to figure out if he needs to just cut his underwear off and yank them or sag them. Oh, you're wearing those, the Yeah. Yeah, I hate those. I have that same pair. They ride high all the time. It's the underwear. Oh, they're so riding high. Not only did he cut it off, he used his ice axe. <laughs> Good thing we have this ice axe. Oh, God, I need to cut the band. <laughs> this is awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> cut him off. <laughs> And then Andy was like, dude, I had this knife the whole time. I have a knife too. But what the hell are you doing with the ice axe for? That's I don't know a horrible where it is. idea. I just wanted to see you do it. Yeah. You should probably cut the other end. Why? What are you gonna, you got Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that knife back. Here comes my ass, are you ready? <laughs> I should state, I'm sorry for all the male nudity. Rear nudity, not frontal, don't worry. Just a lot of rear male rear nudity, mostly Aaron, but cheeks. Whoa. We're stopping for lunch in this little like ravine area. So what we're doing, cause we were kind of low on water, taking snow and melting it in my jet boil. Aaron again is with his pants down. He's a. I'm chafing! I'm chafing! I'm chafing! So there was no snow on this bridge yesterday. This is what it looks like. You're making me a snow angel when I get to the bottom. <laughs> oh, and all of us have fallen. <laughs> now, all of us have fallen over. Some more than others. <laughs> <laughs> Probably about 45 minutes away from our van. And we're getting there. Slowly but surely. We worked our way down. We saw some wildlife. I thought we were gonna come up on a moose. Aaron kept making bear noises so we wouldn't run into bears. So we never really ran into anything. We made it back down to uh, Jenny Lake. Wait, there it is. Um, the guys are still coming on the path, but they should be here any minute. Speaking of, there they are. And then toward the end, Aaron really had to go number two. He just kept saying he had to go poop. How you guys feeling? I have to poop. I have a Charlie horse. Walking 10 feet, dude, I gotta poop. Walking 10 more feet, dude, I gotta poop. And so it took a while, that last little stretch. What time is it, Andy? No, I haven't, because I, I figured all of our wet stuff needs to just go in the back. Can I go poop now? Go. Okay, great. Great. Are you filming me? Yeah. Great. There it is, all nice and dirty. Solar is caked with snow. That must be the vehicle of the guys who are with us up in the, no, they've got firewood exposed. Uh, be wise in the future to invest in a access ladder because I just had to climb up my tire to get up here and it is slick and it's caked. Like this whole panel. Let's see if I can just take a huge chunk off. Oh. Does it look like a lot of snow's coming? So because we came down a day early, we had a full day extra. 
so we ended up going and driving through the night to Arches, which was something that was like, we're in a van, let's do it. We can just pick up and go. That's one of the cool things about being in a van. You could just, you don't have to like break down a campsite and anything. Everything's just right here and you're going and you have a place to stay. Okay, we are here. Oh, Camera battery is gonna die. Oh. We're in Jackson Hole. 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 It smells like Jackson. And it's getting right. cold out again, but we went and got ourselves a nice hot meal. I had a Sunday. It was too rich. <laughs> I had a steak, I'm gonna have the shits. But we're gonna try to drive to Arches tonight, so. Try is a big word there. I drove the first shift and we decided to get a shower that evening. Where are we? We are at the Flying J. Uh, the J stands for just got here. The Flying J offers showers for a price. Um, this one had what, four showers? Four showers is what it said. So we're gonna go in, see what the prices are, see if there's a wait time on any of it. They do have the shared shower. Yep. That's at a discount price, the more people you have. So we went and paid and took showers at the Flying J, which are, it's nice. Flying J's, they clean them out. They do a good job for the most part, where, depending on where you end up. And the reason we didn't shower in here is because uh, the hot water wasn't working for some reason. A little thing I found out is if any water is on anywhere, like it's not a full flow, it'll keep the hot water from triggering, like that flame to heat up the water. So it turned out that Andy had left the uh, water on and the only thing keeping it shut was the shower head. And so when I looked in there, the towels had fallen, they were completely soaked uh, and the water had been running. But I didn't figure that out until we had already taken the showers. Are you recording all this? Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to get your guys' opinion on the shower. Uh, I like that, that it was hot, I liked that it was uh, wet, did the main lady stare at you guys as you walked out? I said no. thank you. Yes, she, she did. Her back was turned. I didn't know that like regular people could walk in and do these. I thought they were for truckers only. Yeah. So that is dope. Now it'd be cool if we go to like in the future, not a small. <laughs> you want to go to one with more foot traffic on truckers? No, just like I'm thinking that dude didn't really take any time to clean those showers. So I wonder like if we have. Football. I mean, I'm sure he just took like bleach <laughs> on a thing and. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's about 2 a.m. and I've been driving for about four hours, maybe four and a half. And like as you can see, Andy's gotten his coffee. It's his turn to drive and his sweets. Uh, and I'm gonna hit this hay for the next four hours and then we should be in arches. Because he took over a little after midnight, it was Halloween. And that meant he was gonna play Halloween music the whole time he drove. So I didn't sleep. At 6 a.m. At all. I'm tired as shit. It was all thriller and whatever i don't the monster mash oh my god i can't tell you how many times i heard monster mash we made it to arches we'll see where what it looks like outside tomorrow when there's sun we're sleeping for a little while i don't know uh we slept in didn't wake up until like 11 but when we did it was crazy like we were in the snowy mountains and then the next day we we're in the desert Okay, we're in, we're at the desert. <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go outside now. Or I'm gonna open the door to outside. Twinkies! I'm not sharing, I already ate all my zingers. Oh. I think it is 11.30. And it's Halloween, happy Halloween, October 31st. Because we were there, it was a lot warmer out, so we were able to take all of our gear out and dry it out. And while we did that, we farted around and danced around because it was Halloween and tried to get a funny photo and whatnot. <laughs> Not gonna work. Can you just like redo it? <laughs> no way, no way you're getting in here. I'm choking. I don't like it. I don't like, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 but 
but the plan for the day was to go into Arches and go see Arches. So that's what we did. Uh, we made it to Devil's something, Dick Point, Devil's. We're in Arches. All I wanted him to say was we're in Arches. Okay. Is it on? Okay, so we're in Arches National Park. Blowing the smoke was really cool. Uh, we are at Devil's Garden Trailhead. Uh, the Devil's in the details, and there's lots of details right here. This is a big loop, and Webster's are not gonna hang. Uh, so I'm thinking we do like up to this pine tree arch and back. What? Or maybe the landscape. How arch. big is the loop? Uh, the loop. 1.6. It's a lot. <laughs> How you doing? We're at Arches. I'm filling up my water bottle. I made a huge mess, so now I gotta clean it up. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm gonna veer off real quick. You wanna see anybody coming? Well, I tried to film all of us, but he's gonna go pee now. Um, we got a photo of an arch. Photo moment now. Cool. Okay, and it was great, wasn't it? And now we're on our way to more. Show us your moves. Let's see you out there. Oh, there you go. See the delicate arch, and we're gonna we're gonna fart in a crowd. <laughs> I know Andy was like really pumped to try to fart in front of a crowd, which we never got on a film, but man did he try. That's the really, that's the popular arch out there. It's delicate. And we're too dead to go hike out to it. And if you look to the right, you'll see Tatooine. I saw some climbers, I was really bummed. I was like, look at us little losers who are just walking to these overlooks and taking photos when we could be out there climbing and being cool, but that's for a future trip. <laughs> Drank his full gallon of water today. Hey, I can't stop, gotta go. <laughs> We climbed, we did end up climbing some rocks, just like scaling up the side of some rock face and uh, filming up there, which was fun. Well, let's squeeze your way through that crack and get up in there. I mean, this is a cool spot. Hey, hi, turds. Yeah, they climbed up there. They had to leave me down here because I suck. And somebody has to take this video camera make everyone look cool that's me that's my job check out this rock it's different colors why is that oh because there's a sun oh, you can't see it fuck tell me what you're doing This video doesn't do it justice, but... Aaron! What are we? What do you think? Good. How many feet up? From where, him? Yeah. 100? Yeah, probably. See the color on this rock? Yeah. How it's getting golden hour? The double arches are doing it from here. Yeah. Throw me the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, golden hour. It's really, the camera like can't expose, there it goes. Oh, that makes me look real haggard. But you're not even in the sun. I know. Look at that. I'm ruining it with my face. And then we left arches, and it turned out I had a dead headlight. What are we doing? Uh, we're trying to change the damn light bulb about half an hour. 
have to go inside and ask for help from the lady. Right here. <laughs> well, I'm going to pull it off. I keep saying I'm going to pull it off. That took like an hour and a half to switch that headlight out. But eventually we got it, we grabbed some food. So we got these replaced. And... Got some hot food. Cheese. 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 So when we went back, there was no, there was cars and tents in the place we had parked previously. So we had to go a little farther out, which ended up being cooler location. This is what BLM looks like. <laughs> cool. This is what BLM feels like. Don't hit that, Jesus. So we're back at the BLM land. We got a different campsite because the one that we were at yesterday was taken by other RVers. So. Say it wasn't your gas that we were smelling. <laughs> <laughs> we had a fire. Uh, Andy tried to light his fart on fire, which was really funny. <laughs> Nothing. It just burned my ass, though. <laughs> you were so not even close. <laughs> you gotta like stand in that rain. <laughs> that hurt. It came out so quick. That's really it. It was an awesome trip. I wish we could have stayed longer. It was really short. All right, this is the dawn of the last day. Um, <laughs> I slept 65% better than I have. But I peed. <laughs> uh, my butt chafing is dry, sort of. Don't pan the camera away. I want to tell them all about my butt chafing. They need to know. I think they know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they definitely know. They definitely know. Yeah, that back door is not closed. Whose fault is that, Andy? <laughs> the van held up. It was awesome. It provided us with shelter and a place to store all of our stuff, which is really important, especially when you're out in the wild. Like, you don't want animals coming and ripping through your tent to get your things out of your bag. You have a solid shelter. and. When it's super cold out or the weather hits, you can stay in the van. And when you're driving, just like the driving 24 hours, you know, it's not like a crazy long road trip because you could sleep during it. You could play video games during it. You could watch movies during it. You can go to the bathroom while you're driving. We're on our way back. Last night was our last night in Utah. Now we have like 21 hours and 20 minutes to get back to Indy. So we're gonna drive through and sleep in the van when we get a chance and then be back in Indy by around noon tomorrow if we're lucky. It'll probably be like five, but we'll drive for noon. <laughs> you know, those are things that I've never done before. I never had like an RV. So we had a blast, it was awesome. And it was just like the start of many trips to come. <coughs> if you like this video, uh, subscribe, make sure to do something about it, I don't know. If you like seeing male butts, give a thumbs up. If you don't like seeing male butt butts, give a thumbs up. If you uh, don't like thumbs down, give a thumbs up. Nailed it. <laughs>